Good morning. It's Thursday, August 24th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, An Extra Hour, and our scripture is from Joshua chapter 10. On the day the Lord gave the Israelites victory over the Amorites, Joshua prayed to the Lord in front of all the people of Israel. He said, Let the sun stand still over Gibeon, and the moon over the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stayed in place until the nation of Israel had defeated its enemies. Is this event not recorded in the book of Yashar? The sun stayed in the middle of the sky, and it did not set as on a normal day. There has never been a day like this one before or since, when the Lord answered such a prayer. Surely the Lord fought for Israel that day. If you've ever found yourself wishing for an extra hour in the day because you haven't had enough time to quote-unquote do it all, this is for you. The day started with my phone losing its mind. It was supposed to awaken me at 5.30 a.m. so I could get to my Veterans Administration doctor's appointment on time. But when I opened my eyes at 6.15, the phone was still in its own stupor, quiet as a mouse. Great, starting the day 45 minutes behind. Well, getting dressed quickly, I ruminated on how my phone must be listed somewhere in the Bible's begets of hell's spawn. One other quote-unquote proof of how useless my mobile phone has become is the choice it makes based on algorithms which ignore my needs in favor of the desires of roughly 14 gazillion companies double-checking the expiration date of my car's warranty. One of those fascinating but totally sinister algorithmic choices also totally ignores the fact that I need my calendar to awaken me to the reality that my frenzy of activity to get to the VA for an 840 appointment is silly, considering the appointment is an hour later at 940, a fact I totally missed because the said appointment was for the eye doctor because I'm half blind. Well, in frenzy mode, I forgot that a careless placement of my coffee travel mug on my car's rooftop, coupled with a hasty plop of my overweight carcass in the driver's seat, means my mug full of steaming hot Green Mountain Dark Magic coffee will wobble off the car roof and splatter all over my garage floor. Now, there's no app or algorithm in the world that can cope with the stain on both my cement garage floor, which now must be painted as Elizabeth always wanted, and my broken heart having to face a 30-minute dash to the VA with zero caffeine in my blood. When I arrived at the VA and checked in, the receptionist smiled and she said, My, you're early. It was then I realized the calendar was right and I had an extra hour to wait, to be still, and know my hurrying had been in vain. But all was not lost. In the VA lobby stands a Starbucks, a magnificent testament to the fact that our government leaders really do have a heart. I reclaimed my lost Green Mountain Dark Magic and sat in a space overlooking the parking lot to contemplate my madness in silence. During the next hour, I resisted opening my algorithm-driven demonic device and used the time to chill, pray, and sip my overpriced Folgers. Within a few moments, an elderly lady sat down at the lobby piano and played a lovely hymn, and my blood pressure returned to normal for me. I managed to have enough presence of mind to thank God for that lovely, calming hour's interlude, and soon was lost in praying for each of you, as the Lord brought you and your needs to mind. Part of God's answer to my prayer was when he spoke to my heart, and this is what he said, Russell, do you understand now how you, getting up all early, all worried, and coming apart at the seams when I wanted you to have an extra hour's rest for your weary bones and spirit, do you understand that it's a blight on your day's journey? I could only smile and nod an apology. He knows me well, 
without an algorithm. For you today, like Joshua, you can trust God for whatever extra hour he wants to build into your day. It will be the best hour of the day. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.